inside, we're going to go inside of a muscle fiber, okay, to a whole muscle, to what we would see inside of a muscle fiber, and inside of the cell, okay, now I'm going to just put this on the screen and let you write and then explain. So a muscle cell, so here's the right, so uh, a muscle cell is a single muscle fiber in yellow. It's a single muscle fiber. When we look at a muscle cell under a microscope, when you look at muscles under a microscope, it had these stripes going across it, right? Has these stripes going across it. Each one of those stripes is what's called a Z, here it says Z disc or Z line. Okay? And attached to the Z line are these little bitty, well, they don't look little here because they're magnified, but these uh, fibers. And they run, they run parallel with the muscle cell. Okay, you understand that? I got a lot of blank stares right there when I said that. They run parallel with the muscle cells. So the muscle cell runs in this direction, and the whole muscle, the whole muscle runs in this direction, and then these fibers run in that direction also. So on this, the muscle is like that. Okay, and the fibers, what we're looking at here, that these lines are going vertically across my muscle. Okay, Z lines go vertically across the muscle. Still with me, understand that concept. Okay? A functional unit of muscle runs from Z line to Z line. This here is called a sarcomere. It's this. Okay, mere is unit. Sarco means flesh or muscle. We're actually going to learn sarco in our fewer of quiz next time. Okay? So sarco is muscle, or and here is unit, essentially. Okay, myo is also prefix means muscle. So, then each myofibril has two kinds of filaments, and I'm going to label on this screen. Actin, the thin filament, and myosin, the thick filament. Whoops. And I'll just label it on here. So when you look at a segment of muscle, the Z lines here and here, and then you have thin filaments labeled in red, called actin, and then in the middle a thick filament called myosin. And now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how that happens, how a muscle contract. How does that help your muscle contract, essentially? What do they have to do with contraction? So if we look at a slide of, if this is, here's another slide of muscles, you can see that there, you can see the bands in here and the stripes. This is a little more magnified than we normally would look at with the microscopes we have. And you can see right here are the Z lines. And then this dark part here is the myosin, the thick bands. Okay, right here in the middle. I'm going to draw a line over each other. And then from Z line to the middle, and from Z line to the middle is the actin. This is where we get this looking at microscope pictures of skeletal muscle. Here's another skeletal muscle. It's not quite as clear as on here. Same idea. Okay, same idea. All right. One other feature of the muscle is something called the sarcoplasmic reticulum. all up here again. I'll put this all up here again unless you write it. You don't want to talk about it. So to help you orient yourself again, this thing is a muscle cell, muscle fiber. Okay, a bunch of these make up a fascicle. A bunch of fascicles make up a muscle. 
inside of the muscle, a muscle cell is made up of a number of little bitty groups of fibers called myofibrils, and each of those has, here's our actin and myosin, and the Z-lines here. Around each of these is something called the sarcoplasmic reticulum, because it's not like, it's essentially like the endoplasmic reticulum in a regular cell, except it wraps around each of these. And its job is to store and release calcium ions. And tomorrow, when we talk about contraction of a muscle cell, then we'll talk about what calcium has to do with it. Okay? So, that's basically structure of a muscle in one day. Right? We have, and I'm going to go back a second and just review the whole idea then. So if we go back to here, okay, the whole muscle is made up of fascicles of muscle fibers, which is a muscle cell, and then each muscle cell itself is made of, if we looked at it at the front, is made of small units of muscle myofibrils, little bitty fibers, that each one of those has its own little fibers inside, so the fiber is like it's stacking array kind of, okay, from big to small, all with the same structural idea. Okay, which is really kind of cool, I think, that the basic unit in here makes the whole unit with the same structure do one thing. Like I said, tomorrow we'll be talking about contraction. So, 